In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Fee Record, a monospaced font that contains a variety of programming ligatures. So before we get into that, let's quickly show how we can get this on our machine. And what we need to do is head over to GitHub and I'll put the link inside of the description so you don't have to worry about that and you can click download. Once you've clicked download, you'll be able to access the true type font files. And what we need to do on a Mac is simply open up this file and install it inside of your fonts folder. On Windows, you may be able to do the same or drag it inside of your font folder, and then you should be able to access it inside of your IDE. As always, we'll be using Visual Studio Code, and I'll show you how we can get that set up. Inside of our settings, simply put your font family to be Fira Code, and also enable font ligatures. So add font ligatures equal to true. So let's take a look at our font then. So as you can see, it's a very readable font. Each character is both aesthetic and also has appropriate space in between. It's a monospaced font. And we also have things like custom ligatures. So let me show you the power of that. If we wanted to make a couple of variables, so let's say const dog equals dog and const cat equals cat. And if we wanted to say that if dog does not equal cat, console.log do something. So as you can see, when we've said is not equal to, we are, instead of getting an exclamation mark and a equal sign, it's joined it together to make this not equal sign. So overall, in my opinion, that's significantly more readable than seeing those two characters together Seeing them as one certainly makes it more readable for me. I like it, it's more concise. And if we wanted to do the same, but instead equal two, you'll notice if we put two equal signs, it joins it together as one character. And for three equal signs, it makes it larger and joins that one together as well. So when we're having these custom ligatures inside of our code, it just makes things more readable for us. And we have to do less work to understand what our code is actually doing. At least in my opinion, I do think it's much better and it does make the code much more readable. So if we did the same, but now we did an arrow, you can see that it joins the arrow together. The same sense goes for if we made a double arrow, it makes it more aesthetic. This really comes into play when we start writing comments. So as you can see here, we have this as a comment and usually we would have an arrow that looked like that or a different arrow that looked like that. And it's just much more readable because what happens, it becomes this one character that easily joins together. If for example, we remove a piece and it just makes our code that much more readable and more aesthetic. So I'm a big fan of this inside of this font. I do like it very much. You'll notice that when we are writing hashtags as well. So if we made a markdown file, for example, home.md and we wanted to make, for example, a title maybe something like hello world, but when we add an extra hash, you can see that it sort of joins the hashes together into a more readable font. The same goes for other content, like for example, if we're writing a web address and we had www, if you can notice here when we get that third W in, it sort of joins all the characters together to show that this is a World Wide Web font ligature. So overall, I'm a big fan of this font. I do think it's easy to read our code. It offers a variety of benefits with the font ligatures. And I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a new programming font. What font do you use? Do you want me to review any other fonts? I would love to see what you use inside of your IDE. Let me know inside of the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. And until next time, I'll see you very soon in the next video.